Hey folks, Voltex here and welcome to my review of the Hides or Heides S9 Pro Plus. The Plus is the important part because it's a revision and it has a 3.5 and a 4.4 instead of 3.5 and 2.5 and there's been some other uh, couple of changes as well. And yet as usual, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Hides themselves for sending me out to me. So thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video and no all thoughts and opinions are my own. And as you can see, this is a balanced DAC amp, so type C input, aka a dongle DAC. And yeah, let's just get into it. So, like I just said in the intro, this is the updated version, so it's the plus model. So, bear that in mind. Information there, mine is the blue one, nothing there, nothing really there. So, as you can see, bunch of specs. So, it uses the same DAC as before, ES9038Q2M. First time, I think, be trying that. It's meant to be a good one. DSD up to 512, which is quite a lot. Uh, PCM up to 768, 32-bit. So that's, again, quite high. 3.5 and 4.4. Sampling rate indicator support. So I have to check that. It's meant to an integrated aluminium alloy. Two buttons. It's got switching filters. So I'll have to check that as well. Type C. Supported ones. I'll be trying this on Android and Windows 10. Obviously, there's info about using it with a lightning cable. Weight, content, so the item, blah, 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 blah. Let's just get in. So it's quite a small box. You can see relish music, beauty in the details. So mine's the blue boy. Let's have a look. So unfortunately, I have not tried the the non plus model, the, basically the previous one with the same DAC. But I saw that was 2.5 and 3.5. So yeah, this one's uh, quite nice. Seems like a, maybe a glass bottom. Two buttons, glass top, 3.5, 4.4. And obviously type C in. So I guess D, oh, here we go. So yeah, basically not much accessories. So there's the date, serial number, obviously a bunch of the, uh, all the socials. Quite a small type C cable, and obviously there's the adapter. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have no idea what this is like. I presume it should have sufficient power. And yeah, I'll see you in the future. Yes, yeah, so welcome to my review section of the uh, Hiddy's S9 Pro Plus. Plus being the new version because it uses a 3.5 and a 4.4. If you see this version on a store that's got a 3.5 and a 2.5, it's the older version, so just bear that in mind. Obviously, I've got it plugged into my phone. I've done this so you can see the colour. So you, you see it's green now. To focus, so yeah, it's green now, so you can see it's actually using PCM from 44 1 up to 96 kilohertz. Now, that color does two jobs one, PCM, or if you're using you know, it depends, you could be using DSD 512 or then that'd be purple, whatever. That color does determine the, the PCM or DSD rate, and also when you change your filters. So, for example, do this in real time so. I'll just show you now. Now there's seven filters, so you just hold them both in. See there? So that's red. Simple as that. You can see. Yeah, simple as that. Just keep going through the colours, pick what you want. Now the filters are described on the website, so please check all that. And yeah, so can plug that. Don't need my phone anymore. Get rid of that. Unplug that. So yeah, filters. What do I think of the filters? Well, to me they make a small difference, but some people who might have like super incredible hearing might notice the difference. They include the differences. So as basically this ESS 9038Q2M. You know, it's basically, it has built-in filters, and then all doing is hideous or hide is often the option to change. It's up to you if you want to go from the default one, but 
to do that. I think the differences are so small. I don't think it really kind of matters, really. So, yeah, the colours I've described, which obviously lights up from here. Obviously, just the two jobs. Very straightforward. Please do check the website because it gives you all the information is there, basically. So, power of this. So, so through the 3.5, it does 138 milliwatts per channel and 180 for the balanced. Both are more than enough. Obviously, I spent a lot of time with the planar, which is the Hades MP145, which is quite a good pairing, 4.4 cable, and a planar. So it's a good example to try this out. Pairs it absolutely fine, as I kind of expected would. And yeah, like... Shear power is fine, so obviously you got the connectors. So you got volume up, volume down. That's it, obviously type C in. Obviously metal and glass. Quite a nice finish, to be honest. Now, compatibility is it works on Windows 10 and Android. Flawlessly on both, plug in and play. Now, sound as well. What does this sound like? So a lot of people prefer all... I prefer the AKM sound or ESS sound. What do I think this actually sounds like? Um, it sounds great. Everything's clear. Everything's very detailed. I didn't find it aggressive or anything like that. I, my opinion, it sounds transparent. But other people may have a different thoughts on that. But it just sounds high quality sound is basically what I think of it. And if you don't like that, change it the filter to suit you. But sheer sound quality in the default profile, which I tried it with the most, it sounds it sounds great. Like not much to really kind of say really. Now power consumption is I actually found it quite efficient. So using my phone, which is a, a Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro, in planar, I tried it with these most. This only gets um, warm to the touch. Doesn't get hot. Just warm. And the battery consumption, I didn't technically measure it, but it seems quite low. Um, yeah, I think the Centrance is the worst I've had for power consumption. But yeah, for, it seems quite efficient, and that's pretty much it. So, noise floor on this, uh, basically zero. I don't know the output impedance, but the noise floor, so I tried it with something sensitive, and it sounds fine. I didn't really hear the hiss or anything like that. And basically this as well supports 32-bit up to 768 and DSD up to 512, which is obviously way overkill. You can see that ESS, DSD. There's the information on the back. And it sounds fine, so what do I think of this? So I don't know the price at the moment, but for my base, I've been using this for about four weeks before this video. And I'm really happy with it, really. The only negatives is price. I don't know the price yet. Uh, there's no gain mode, so it's just one gain. I don't think that matters because you've got enough uh, volume range. There was a firmware update to fix the volume range. So you get more steps. No issue at all with the kind of the volume. Um, and how it works. With, so basically, it's got sync system volume. So if you press the volume uh, on your phone, it changes the system volume. Now, I prefer that for phones or tablets. But for a computer, I prefer uh, independent volume. So you could set Windows to 100%. And then you set this, then, then this is completely independent volume. I prefer that for a computer. But I prefer this current sync setup for uh, phones, tablets. So yeah. On the whole, I like it. It's got more than enough power. Powers them with no issue. Uh, very reliable. I like you can change filters. I like that you can see what it's actually doing when you change your filters. As I say power level's fine. Only gets warm to the touch. She and the steps are fine. Output is fine. Sound quality is also very good. Um, I'm actually yeah, I'm actually quite happy with it. I just don't know the price, basically. And the gain switches, which doesn't really matter. Uh, very easy to use and very straightforward. And yeah, I think I pretty much end it there. But on the whole, uh, yeah, it's a good dongle deck. Obviously, it's not that small. But it's got everything you need on it. And I think I'll probably end it there. I, don't, I think I've covered pretty much everything. 
if you want to know anything about this, please do let me know in the comments. And I'll, I'll answer. I don't think I missed anything, but, you know, we all forget things. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next video.